thank you all for coming here this afternoon. Like I've called you all to clarify on this uh, auto rickshaw display card system, which we are starting to enforce, and lots of confusion, so some sort of miscommunication is uh, being there. That's what people are claiming. You see, this auto rickshaw display card system is an, an, is an initiative of the Dimapu Traffic Police to streamline the plan of auto rickshaws uh, under the Commissionerate of Dimapu that is covering the three districts of Dimapu, New Land, and Chumukidima. As you know, like we have uh, too many auto rickshaws we can say for the land of the roads in the street districts. But every day, new, almost every day, new auto rickshaws are added. So just to regulate and manage the traffic congestions, the Dimapur Traffic Police have come up with this initiative. This initiative was uh, brought up and then it was put up to the RTA, that is the Regional Transport Authority, and under the chairmanship of the DC Dimapu, this authority display card system for, for implementing of this system was approved by the Regional Transport Authority. And as you all know, the, fir the first few uh, autos were flagged off on 16th of December last year. And then we have given three months' time for others uh, to get the display cards. And that the time given was completed on 29th of February uh, 2024. And we have started implementing now. So this system is not to harass any auto rickshaw driver or owners, but this is being implemented for the betterment of both the drivers, the passengers, the owners, as well as for the regulation and management by the traffic personnel of the commissionerate. This, uh, this card features, will be featuring like the name of the auto driver, the vehicle number, the driving license number, unique identification code, then the auto uh, driver's union's uh, ID number, and the jurisdiction of jurisdiction or area of operation by the respective autos. So uh, this is work out with a view to effectively manage and regulate the auto rickshaws flying around Dimapu, Chumukidima and Newland. Then secondly, to prevent and detect crimes committed via this mode of transport. Many a times, criminals, they use the autos to commit crimes and escape, make their way through. So the other is like to ensure the safety of passengers especially that of women and the elderly, or even for that matter, uh, even for younger children. The display cards are pasted in the backside of the driver. So if any passenger feels that uh, things are not going as expected, they can just click the card from, from their mobile and they can uh, co contact the police control room, which the numbers are displayed, to immediately report to, uh, contact the police control room, so necessary actions are take, taken up immediately. And this is also, this will also help to detect stolen auto rickshaws, and also to check auto rickshaws with expired documents, permits, and driving without proper license. And the other point is like to check those private auto rickshaws which are applying for hire without permits. 
and also to check auto rickshaw drivers flying without wearing proper uniform or ID cards, which are mandatory. So with this view, uh, this system was evolved and it is being implemented. So we are not here to harass any driver or uh, any owner, but then a system has to be put into place. So there'll, there'll be complaints, this, that, but these have been worked out not just by police, but it is a uh, proposal was given by the Dimapur Traffic Police, and this was approved by the Regional Transport Authority under the chairmanship of the Deputy Commissioner of Dimapur. And the, uh, the system is being worked out in tandem with the police administration, the transport department, and that of the auto unions. So with the approval of uh, all the concerned departments, this has, been, this has been worked out and it has been implemented now. So that much, much clarification I wanted to give you all. And if you have any queries, you can ask. So, sir, I want to you that you are checking today, is it? Within the Mabur town, or the Mukadima district, and the Turigina, sir, Caesar memo, is it? So, I want to release to you. For me, sir, I have a question to Purana Auto Han Dakaran, driver Han Bra, or Malik Han Bra, who is it, sir? Dakaran renewal for you, who are in the city, Tara, sir. Police pride will look at the relaxation delivery at the request for it. So, it will offer it. No, that's why I'm telling you, no? just Purana ho jai se, aro fees kan to bisi jama ho jai se for 10 years, 15 years, renew Purana. That is not an excuse. No? They are supposed to renew the registration, the permits, every year. So without doing those things, Autos are changing hands, and when crimes are committed, like it's very difficult to even trace the owner. Also, I mean, it goes round and round, and then actual Malibu na thagani is na. So as I have said, like uh, as of now, though no more grace period, we have started implementing. So those without display cards are being compounded. So we'll keep it and then in the meantime they have to do all the necessary papers and then come and get their autos release again.